Hi there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. This video is for grade 11, general mathematics. Our lesson for today is all about evaluating functions and these are the following objectives of this lesson. Recall the process of substitution. Identify the various types of functions and evaluate functions. In the previous video, I discussed about piecewise functions. If you want to watch that, just click here or find the link on the description below. Finding the value of x for most of the students is what mathematics is all about. Sometimes, it seems to be a joke for the students to evaluate an expression, like what is shown by this illustration. As you can see, the problem is find x and the answer of the student is, here it is. But, this is not the correct answer, right? If you want to learn how to find the value of y or how to evaluate functions, well then, you are in the right video. What's in? Before we begin, let's go back to the time when you first encounter how to evaluate expressions. Do you still remember? Given the following expressions, find its value if x equals positive 3. Number 1, x minus 9. Number 2, 3x plus 7. And number 3, x squared plus 4x minus 10. We have learned that in an algebraic expression, letters can stand for numbers. And to find the value of the expression, there are two things that you have to do. First is to replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value and the second one is to perform the operations in the expressions using the correct order of operations. Let's try to solve number 1. Since x is equal to 3, we just replace x by positive 3 in the expression. So we have 3 minus 9. Then, perform the operation, 3 minus 9 is equal to negative 6. So, that's it. Another one, we have 3x plus 7. Just replace the value of x by 3. So, that is 3 times 3 plus 7. Simplify. 3 times 3 equals positive 9. And then, add 9 plus 7 equals 16. The last one is x squared plus 4x minus 10. Following these steps, we just need to replace positive 3 for x. And that is 3 squared plus 4 times positive 3 minus 10. After replacing x by 3, we get the squared of 3 which is positive 9. And then get the product of 4 and 3 that is 12. 9 plus 12 is equal to 21 minus 10 is equal to 11. Always remember, we need to follow PEMDAS rule. Before we proceed to evaluation of functions, let us try to look to some of the common types of functions that you might encounter as we go on to our discussion. The first one is the constant function. It is a function that has the same output value no matter what your input value is. Because of this, a constant function has the form f of x equals b, where b is a constant or a single value does that not change. For example, the input value is negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. As you can see, the y value is equal to 2. This is an example of the graph of constant function and as you can see, it is a horizontal line because no matter what your input value is, the output value will always be the same. Another one, we have identity function. It is a function which returns the same value which was used as its argument. In other words, the identity function is the function f of x equals x for all values of x. For example, we have f of 2 equals positive 2 and the input is unchanged. This is an example of identity function. The value of x is the same as the value of y. So, y equals x. It is identically the same as it was. Then, we have also polynomial function. I know you are familiar with this. It is a function of the form f of x equals a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus 
a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0, and so on and so forth. Where a sub n is not equal to 0 and the exponents are all whole numbers. For this polynomial function, a sub n is the leading coefficient, a sub 0 is the constant term, and n is the degree of the polynomial function. We have also types of polynomial function. First one is the linear function. It is a polynomial function with degree 1 in the form y equals mx plus b. For example, we have y equals 2x plus 5. And as you can see, the degree of this function is equal to positive 1. This is the graph of a linear function. Another one is the quadratic function. It is a polynomial function with a second degree. It is expressed as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to 0, and a, b, and c are constant, and x is a variable. It is important that a must not be equal to 0, because if a is equal to 0, it will become linear function. For example, we have y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. If a is 0 here, then the function will become 2x plus 5 and it is a linear function. So take note of this. This is the graph of quadratic function. Then we have another one, a cubic function. A cubic polynomial function is a polynomial of degree 3 and can be denoted by f of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus 5, where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c, and d are constant and x is a variable. For example, 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5, this is in the degree of 3. Then we have also degree of 4, degree of 5, degree of 6, and that is what we call a polynomial function. Another one, we have power function. It is a function in the form y equals ax raised to b, where b is any real constant number. Many of our parent functions such as linear functions and quadratic functions are in fact power functions. So, the previous examples are example of a power function and another one we have f of x equals 8x raised to 5. Another one we have also rational function. A rational function is any function which can be represented by a rational fraction say in which numerator p of x, for example we have 4x plus 8 and denominator q of x are polynomial function of x where q of x is not equal to 0. This is an example of a rational function. We have also logarithmic and exponential function. Logarithmic function is any function of the form f of x equals log base of x, where the logarithm of base b is defined as follows. b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. For example, y equals log base of x can be expressed as b raised to y equals x and this is an example of exponential function. For example, we have log base 2 of 16 equals 4 can be expressed as 2 raised to 4 equals 16. Now let us proceed to evaluation of functions. Evaluating function is the process of determining the value of the function of the number assigned to a given variable. Just like an evaluating algebraic expressions to evaluate function, you just need to number one, replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value and the second one is perform the operations in the given expression using the correct order of operations. For example, we have given f of x equals 2x minus 4 or function of x equals 2x minus 4. Find the value of the function if x equals positive 3. Just like our example a while back, we just need to substitute 3 for x in the function. And that is f of 3 equals 2 replace x with positive 3 minus 4. And then simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. So that is 2 times 3 equals positive 6 and 6 minus 4 equals positive 2. So the function of 3 is equal to positive 2. 
Another example, we have a given g of x equals 3x squared plus 7, find g of negative 3. Just substitute negative 3 for x in the function. So that is g of negative 3 equals 3 times our x is negative 3 squared plus 7 and then simplify negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9 3 times 9 equals 27 and 27 plus 7 equals 34 so g of negative 3 equals 34 another example we have p of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 find p of 0 and p of negative 1 First thing that we need to solve first is p of 0. And this is an example of a quadratic function. Substitute 0 for x and that is equal to p of 0 equals 3 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 2. So automatically this will become 0. Because 3 times 0 equals 0 and 5 times 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 minus 2 equals negative 2. So, P of 0 equals negative 2. And then, we will find P of negative 1. And that is, P of negative 1 equals 3 times negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1 minus 2. Negative 1 squared is equal to positive 1. Then, copy positive 3. Positive 5 times negative 1 equals negative 5. Then, copy negative 2. Then, follow PEMDAS rule, that is 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. Minus 2 equals negative 4. So, P of negative 1 equals negative 4 and P of 0 equals negative 2. Another example we have given, function of x equals 5x. Find f of h plus 1. This time, you are just going to substitute the value of h plus 1 into the equation x. So, that is 5 times h plus 1 plus 1. And then, use the distributive property on the right side and then combine like terms to simplify. So, 5 times h equals 5h and then 5 times 1 equals positive 5 by using the distributive property. Combine like terms, 5 plus 1 equals positive 6 and the final answer is 5h plus 6. We cannot combine these terms because they are unlike terms. Alright, another example we have given g of x equals the square root of 3x minus 2, find g of 9. The same step, substitute 9 for x and that is the square root of 3 times 9 minus 2. Simplify the terms inside the radical sign. So, we have 3 times 9 equals 27. Copy minus 2 and then 27 minus 2 equals 25. And as you can see, 25 is a perfect square. So, the square root of 25 equals 5. So, g of 9 is equal to positive 5. And then we have another example given each of x equals 4x plus 8 over 2x minus 4. And as you can see, this is an example of rational function. Find the value of function if x equals negative 5. The same process, substitute negative 5 for x in the function. So we have h of negative 5 equals 4 times negative 5 plus 8 all over 2 times negative 5 minus 4. Then simplify the expression. We have 4 times negative 5 equals negative 20 plus 8 all over 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10 copy minus 4. Then simplify negative 20 plus 8 is equal to negative 12. Then negative 10 minus 4 equals negative 14. Reduce the lowest term, divide it by 2. So, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. And then, 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, we have here negative and negative. And when we divide like signs, the answer will become positive. So, h of negative 5 is equal to 6 over 7. And then, we have another example. Evaluate f of x equals 2 raised to x 
if x equals 3 half. As I mentioned a while back, this is an example of exponential function. What you need to do is substitute 3 half for x. So we have 2 raised to 3 half. Can you still remember on how to write radical expression using exponents? So you are just going to put the denominator to be an index. So we have 2 and then square root or radical sign 2 then put the numerator. Or we can rewrite this as square root of 2 raised to 3. Next thing that you need to do is to simplify the number inside the radical expression. So we have 2 raised to 3 equals 8 and then the square root of 8 is equal to 4 times 2. Then the square root of 4 is equal to positive 2. Copy positive 2 inside the radical sign because 2 is not a perfect square. So the final answer is 2 is square root of 2. And that's it. Great job for today! Please do consider subscribing and click the bell button for you to be updated on the next videos. If you like this video, please like and comment down below. This is Teacher Jinjin. Jin. See you on the next lesson. Bye!